The only way to get Largo up super early is if I taunt him with food. <laughs> is that true? It's no, that's true, but it's still a pain to get up. So it is, it's six, it's not even 6 30 yet, and we are heading to the diner. Apparently, the diner here is supposed to be fabulous, so we're gonna juice ourselves up with a huge diner breakfast and then we're gonna be on our way. So I think we're gonna go about almost 15 miles today. Yeah. And then Will's picking us up. Um, and this will be our last day on the trail for I think 17 days. But you guys really won't notice it because it'll go from this to tomorrow and you won't miss a step, but we will miss you because we will have not filmed for like two and a half weeks while we're in Los Angeles and he's taking his exams. It's gonna be kind of weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be weird for us. Probably not weird for you, because we'll, you'll be like, oh my gosh, overnight they got a haircut. And we look so refreshed, look refreshed. And we lost our ability to walk. <laughs> <laughs> we lost our muscles and our trail legs. Um, anyway, so when I was younger, my one of my first jobs outside of working for my parents in their apple farm was working at a diner, and I worked there starting at 14 for a couple years. My aunt owned it, and so I have this love of diners and diner food, guys. Like just this, like this psycho love. So get ready to watch Largo and I get a little crazy eating diner food. I'm coming. I'm coming. Largo's ready to eat. <laughs> I'm filming. He's like, let's eat. All right, how is it, Largo? Can you talk? Are you just... It's amazing. It's amazing. Do you need to order a second one to go? This... I would... Maybe. <laughs> this is the perfect breakfast for papers. I could, I, I could put this diner in my backpack and bring it with me. It would be perfect. <laughs> Wouldn't that be? And you love pancakes. Those look delicious. They look fluffy and marvelous. You can get an order to go if you want. No? And I got... Of course, ever faithful egg sandwich. <laughs> this is where we stayed last night. Home sweet home. No. <laughs> the river here and I think these are little kayaking huts for people that want to stay here and then come kayak along the river they're super cute actually maybe we should have stayed there last night I don't know if they're made for two but wow this is a lovely way to start the morning along the river here Welcome to day 39. I'm Sunshine. And I'm Captain. And we're still walking. Still talking. We are going today from Hot Springs, which we absolutely love. To Allen Gap. To Allen Gap, where Will will pick us up. Oh, this is super cute. We're walking on beach sand right now along the river. And this is what I like to think of as the calm before the storm, because we do have some serious uphills today. So this is pampering us, right? Making us think it's gonna be an easy day. And exactly, then, yeah. About 15 miles of straight up. There's a little, little itty bitty down now. Sure, yeah. All right guys, we'll see you in a bit once we get rolling. All oh, right, this is beautiful down here. One last ticket before it's gone. One last summer before it's fall Tune your strings and play your cards Little words hit me like a game of darts And you're beating, beating on my drum
Mountains. We're going up. It doesn't look that intense on the video, but we're going up, up the side of this mountain. And it's straight up on rocks. Lover's Leap Trail. <laughs> so this one is funny to me. We have spent a lot of time living in France, popping in and out. It's kind of our, our home base and we need to recharge from all the years of living this nomadic life. And my French friends, they don't necessarily call the person they're romantically involved with their husband, a lot of them aren't married, or their partner. Um, they call him their lover. And so, <laughs> you know, as an American, that was initially something we just don't say as Americans. We just don't say it's my lover. That's like saying that's the person I um, have sex with. So <laughs> every time I see the word, I laugh. But there's something about it that I find endearing as well. And so I sometimes call Will that as a, as a joke. So it's cute to see a trail like that. So while Largo's spilling the water, I'm going to give you an update on my shoes. So, so far, I don't need the waterproofing. It's not raining at all. Um, they're super comfortable. I had worn them before um, around France, just like I did the Hoka's to break them in. The only problem I'm having is that the foot, what's that called? The front of the foot, the footbed, the foot shelf. I can't remember what it's called, is wider on these. And believe it or not, yesterday I tripped more and all of yesterday than I have in the entire AT combined. And I think it's just because I'm just not used to the wider, the wideness at the toe. And I like it. I'm not complaining about it. Um, I just have to get used to it. So no development so far, obviously, with the waterproofing. Comfort wise, super comfortable. Um, but you know, it's not something you can tell on just like a day and a couple hours on the trail. So there will, I will circle back with it again. Get your water. Think it's thin? Maybe. Oh, we're not going across. Oh, wait, if it's not a bridge, don't go. Look, how thin is this? Are you messing with me? No. Okay, turn around and come back now. Oh my gosh. It's not funny. It's not a bridge? No. Okay, this is very interesting. So, this is where, it's because I thought it was a wide bridge. And I thought the trail was on the other side and it clearly is not. But over here, this massive, I guess, dam or wall, or whatever, is holding all the water. It's just a trickle coming out at the bottom. It's, it's actually beautiful when you get up here like this. Look at this. You tried to kill me. I tried. <laughs> I wanted this hike all to myself. <laughs> that guy. I just, I just stopped to talk to him. He was so sweet. So he's out for a walk and he has a handmade pole. Or it's not called a pole, I guess, but it's handmade. I don't know what it's called, stick. And it's stunning. And so I stopped to talk with him. I'm a little winded, it was uphill. Just asking him, you know, what's he doing? And so he said, someone gave it to him to encourage him to walk. And he was heading to one of the benches down by the water bit that we just passed and he's like I just get out and I walk so and he gave us words of encouragement and said you can do this asked us if we were going all the way um so I don't know how old he is but he's older we just, we just can't stop walking guys we can't stop walking and thinking and being good humans and loving and all that stuff <laughs> you're on the slow train to somewhere run run the ants are coming hurry
So it's 82 degrees today. Do you feel it? Yeah, definitely. I feel it too. And I was thinking about filming and thinking, I don't think that people can really tell how hot it is visually by looking at us, but they can tell how cold it is. What do you think? I mean, I think visually we look a lot, maybe like a tomato more like. A little redder. A little more red than <laughs> anything else. If you think about the days that we've been really, really cold, it's like sometimes they see us wiping our nose. Um, our face is like really white. We have a lot of clothing and we're, on. Yeah, we're far more covered up. And then they can see our breath, right? Yeah. But I was just like filming something and going, I don't, there's no way they can know how hot I am and that it's 82 degrees because I just don't, I don't think I look super hot. Just take our word for it. It's, it's really hot. Dad's going to comment and say I look super hot. I'm wearing full layers right now, so this is not fun. I know. Are you going to wear less clothing when it gets, well, it's warmer. Are you going to? Probably. Because you have like a base layer, merino wool, and then a fleece pants on. But I just didn't bring anything else. Yeah, I guess there is that kind of like purgatory period like between where it's transitioning from really hot to, to cold to hot and hot to cold again that yeah. will either be really cold or really hot. Hopefully okay. we survive this. We're halfway. Let's do this. Halfway? Yeah, this is our hottest day so far, by the way. Oh, yeah. I, For sure. I, I get that. Yeah. Largo, you look so comfortable in a bed of flowers. Mm -hmm. Largo and I agreed that we would take a break when we got to the top of hill number one. And we got one more after this. Wow, this is beautiful here. It's a great setting for a break. Largo and I are having a chat right now about whether we can actually make it the 15 miles to get to Will when he's picking us up. It's been a hard day. I don't think it's been our hardest day, but it's no. definitely been a hard day. It's been our hottest day so far. We're going 15 miles. And we've definitely have hard, have hard harder, but this is a pretty intense dream. Mm. I'm having a snack. <laughs> the lighting is really bad right now. <coughs> I'm having trail mix with some dried fruit. And what are you having? Beef a chomp. So that stick, whatever thing is tired. Yeah, we're a little tired. Are we gonna make it, Largo? Probably not. Uh oh. Can't call Uber. Fine. So you might be wondering why we look so relaxed and laying down right now. Look, my feet are out. Look at my feet. <laughs> Largo can't go on anymore. I, I'm, I'm just, uh, my feet are literally <laughs> broken. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm incapacitated. I can't do anything. It's, it's actually me, guys. So we've gone 9.1 miles and we need to go five more. And I can go five more. The problem is I'm moving particularly slow today and we really needed to get to the spot where Will's picking us up by 6 p.m. because we have an hour and a half drive back to his Airbnb and we have to pack up and leave at five in the morning for a flight out of Charlotte to Los Angeles. And it really, we'll be lucky if we'd make it there by seven because I'm just going really slow today. I don't know what's going on. I just, my body is feeling, I don't know. I don't know. Might be PMS, who knows? Anyway, um, so we decided, or I suggested to Largo if he wanted to just stop here at 9.1 miles and then we'll wait for Will to come get us here, which is a little 30 minute further drive for Will. So he has to come two hours now, um, but he was already on the road anyway. He got out of work, out of um, working, editing. Yeah. editing, yeah, whatever. He's, he's on his way anyway. And um, I think it was like, I felt a little bad sitting here saying to Largo, is this bad? Is this like, should I just have pushed myself through it? And we tried to go faster. But the reality of it is I don't want to get in tonight into the Airbnb at 10 o'clock and have to do laundry and pack and everything and then just kind of be in a bad space because it is my last night with Will um, for two and a half weeks. And um, Captain, I gotta remember to refer to you as Captain. I keep calling you Largo. It's hard. I named him Largo, you know, 16 and a half years ago, and to just switch to Captain is really difficult. Do you call me Sunshine? Not really, huh? Eh, I mean, yeah. So why not? Why not just kind of stop? Okay. We don't want to hurt ourselves. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we're skipping. Yeah. So we're stopping. We're. Both, I've got my shoes off, and we're just sitting here chatting about life and. Excuse me, like we're at the beach. We look like we're at the beach, don't we? Yeah, yeah. The waves. You can hear them. It's yeah. called the rustling of the trees. Exactly. <laughs> So we'll check back in in a bit. Bye.
day 39. We were wanted to go 15. We went 9.1, 9. but I'm not going to feel bad about it because um, it is 10 o'clock at night and we've showered, we've packed, we've had dinner. And if we had done the original route, we would have just gotten back an hour ago and we have to get up at 4 a.m. So I'm okay with that. Um, are you yeah. okay with that? I'm fine with that. I mean, it gets, it lets me sleep more. So <laughs> we went from hot springs. <gasps> Excuse me, to Hurricane Gap. Um, today we barely saw, we saw some people towards the end, but we barely saw anyone on the trail. I think we saw like seven or eight people, yeah. all men. Yeah. Uh, we didn't see any women on the trail today. Um, I think that most of the people stayed in Hot Springs like a couple days or something because everything was sold out there. Yeah, apart from the day that we did Albert Mountain and saw literally no one. Literally no one. I think that was our, our second Might have been our less. second lowest. Yeah, right? Our second lowest. Um, okay, so we're probably going to do a vlog or two in Los Angeles so you can see what our other life... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Um, is going to be like for a couple weeks, but... We'll be basically be back to you guys on the AT in three days. You won't even notice that we were gone. <laughs> we might have a different haircut and a suntan. I don't know. And so. <clears throat> best and worst. Good point. My best is that, I don't know, we got Frosties <gasps> on the way back. We did. We stopped at Wendy's and got Frosties. That was pretty good for me, too. Um, what else was my best today? I like seeing you sitting in like that bed of flowers. That was really peaceful and serene looking. Yeah. Um, my worst was that I tripped a lot still today. Um, I'm getting better with the wider toe. What's that called? Toe box. Toe box. Um, and I'm sure I'll completely adjust. <gasps> you guys are not boring me. I'm sorry. I'm just really tired. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's see. It's going to be kind of weird getting on an airplane tomorrow. Yeah, like with I know. people and speed and all that stuff. We're we can normally to... walk the distance that an airplane goes or that we're, we will have gone in months, maybe right. years. Years. That would take years, I think, to walk across the United States. Okay. So we did our best. We did our worst. Our worst? What, what was, was our worst? worst? Oh, that I tripped a lot. What was your worst? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I had a worst. It was a pretty good day. All right. Okay. And other than that... Good night, that's about guys. it. And we will see you soon. Bye. Oh, wow, look at this. <gasps> you know, guys, I love to buy local stuff, so, and I don't have too far to carry it. Should I buy something? Yes, just you should buy something. Hey, Popeye. How are you? Oh, wait, if it's not a bridge, don't go. Look, how thin is this? Are you messing with me? Okay, turn around and come back now. Oh my gosh. <laughs>